and then uh, how uh, we are trying to optimize the performance and then come here. So Microsoft Fabric is a one-stop data platform which integrates all these uh, data offerings, data factory, uh, Power BI, uh, Synapse, all in one place, and they all operate on one lake. One lake is based on one copy of data. So one copy of data and all the data tools at one place makes it a one-stop a product for enterprise customers. So here in this picture, our Power offering is powering the data engineering and data science. That's where our Spark comes in play. So throughout this presentation, we would be referring to our Spark offering as internal Spark. Internal Spark is Apache Spark plus our uh, pure query optimizations. We have uh, published multiple papers and blog posts about it. So on one TV, uh, one TV TPCDS on 99 queries for Spark 3.4, uh, we are 2x faster than the Apache Spark. So proceeding into how uh, we are making it further faster and integrating it uh, with Gluten and Velox. First, we have uh, integrated uh, Gluten and Velox with our uh, um, our ecosystem, right? Adding ABFS uh, support and doing integration with our uh, one lake and adding different author authorization and those things. Uh, we have also open sourced the ABFS uh, storage adapter, the basic one, without our internal keys. And then uh, we have added uh, support for different Spark operators. These are the operators which we uncovered in our uh, testing through, uh, through different workloads. Uh, and like the operate, some of the operators which we added is like expand, uh, broadcast, nested loop join, Carty sync product, roll up hash, segregate. Uh, for expand, uh, we collaborated with Intel to get it into Velox OSS. Yeah. Broadcast, nested loop join, and Carty sync products were the operators which were uh, giving us heavy penalty for row to columnar and columnar to row uh, when the operations were falling back to Spark. And these changes were merged to Gluten. And then a uh, roll-up hash aggregate uh, is like an internal uh, optimization of uh, a roll-up operator where we uh, cut down the intermediate uh, data and shuffle, and uh, we implemented this in both Gluten and Villa. We have also added 20-plus uh, Spark functions uh, in both Gluten and Villa. These came up in our uh, customer testing and other things like which we were trying to do. And then uh, for uh, for in 96 and, and uh, 64 timestamp, um, this case this came up uh, frequently in our testing where this was making our scans fall back to uh, Spark and hence workloads not improving. Also, we uh, added like uh, Spark scan with uh, metadata uh, columns in Gluten. This was uh, required for the Delta. Yeah, we have also uh, contributed in. OSS to improve the reliability of uh, gluten. We uh, added and enabled uh, UTs for Spark 3.3. Uh, we had to do some fixes, make some uh, changes in the UTs also, like for this work. And for 3, uh, we did this for Spark 3.4 as well. And uh, this included uh, fixing hundreds of UTs. And we are committed to making these changes for Spark uh, 3.5 as well. Also, we are uh, integrating. Uh, Delta into this, right? So for our Delta support, uh, we have re-implemented multiple UDF uh, operations within Delta, which so that uh, these operations, right, which were falling back to uh, Spark, don't now. And then uh, we have added column and implementation for uh, Delta optimized, right, and fallback for the unsupported scenarios, and also for uh, Delta UTs, we are adding the coverage and testing. Now, uh, I'll give it over to Zen to talk about the performance. Thank, thanks, thanks. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll talk about uh, the performance of the decision work we have done in uh, Microsoft. Uh, actually, we have several tools uh, for us to help us to uh, investigate the performance issues for Slack. Yeah. Uh, we extend some of them to cover the gluten and the wireless. For example, we have the tools to collect metrics and general report. 
uh, we uh, we extend that for to cover the Gluten and the and the logs for us to easily to compare different runs and to uh, quickly identify the low operators. And we also have tools to collect the uh, CPU profiling data from a different uh, uh, multiple XQ machines and combine them and generate green graph. Uh, it's super helpful to have us to identify the issues within operator. Uh, this chart actually is from our, one of our uh, metric report. It shows the time description of the TCDS operators. Uh, uh, it takes from one of our very earlier reports. Yeah, from that time we can see that uh, fifty-eight percent time is spent in the scan operator because uh, we read from the remote story from Azure. Yeah, and after that the second one is hash regression and the third one is hash drawn. So our main focus on improve the performance of these three operators. Uh, talk about the uh, scan optimization. Uh, we can see the time distribution in the scan. Uh, in the time distribution in the scan, the most of the time actually is spent in the I.O. That means that we spend a lot of time to loading the data from the remote Azure storage. It's about 84%. Yeah. Uh, for filter, it's only 2%, and others, for, for example, the decryption sense is only the 14%. Uh, to uh, to improve the IO latency, uh, to reduce the IO latency, we actually did two things uh, in our storage adapter. One is that we increased the parallelism of the data reading to have the IO latency. Another thing that we did is integrate clouds with our internal data cache service. Yeah. Uh, for the first one, uh, we actually enabled the uh, uh, read API in the buffer input and uh, implement the the, the, the parallel data reading support in the story, our story adapter PVDV method. Yeah. With, with this support, actually we can see uh, we have about 20% percentage, uh, 20, 20 uh, performance gain uh, compared to the baseline. Actually the baseline is the total TPC decision time uh, without the optimization we talk about here. Yeah. Uh, we also enable the split uh, split the plotting feature in the gluten side. Uh, actually, we found some issue when involved this feature. Uh, it, this feature caused some memory leak issue in the gluten side. Uh, we actually have a PR to uh, fix this issue. This PR is not uh, reviewing, but uh, we apply that uh, PR internally and uh, this, uh, enable this feature by default. Uh, we can see that with this feature enabled, uh, we have uh, we can see about 15 uh, percent. Uh, percentage of the gain, yeah. Uh, we also did the inclusion uh, with uh, our internal fabric intelligent cache service. Uh, actually, this uh, integration we did in still in the storage adapter layers. Uh, the basic process is very straightforward. If the data is available in the cache service, we read the data back directly. Uh, otherwise, storage adapter will read the data from remote and write the data to the cache services. Uh, this intelligent cache service uh, actually did uh, another thing. Uh, it will report the cache state to the Spark driver. That means the Spark driver knows uh, which file is cached in which executor machines. Then it can Spark driver can set the preferred location to the uh, task to ensure the, the scheduler to schedule the uh, duplicate reading task to the same executors. Uh, this actually helps to increase the uh, cache state ratio. Uh, we actually measure the cache hit ratio by the cache rate bytes divided the total input bytes. Uh, by, by this integration, uh, our cache hit ratio is about 93%. Yeah, uh, it's uh, very high. Um, but uh, yeah, the final result is that it's only gain uh, 5%. Uh, uh, that's because we observe that the cache rate and the uh, uh, write latency is not uh, as uh, low as the LV is expected. Uh, we actually host the cache file by a SSD disk, but uh, there is, uh, some overhead for uh, from our impression and the design. We are still improving that. Yeah. This this slide does talk the scan optimization we did. Uh, next thing I will talk about the hydrogen and hydrogen uh, optimization we did. 
Uh, actually, this optimization is based on our analysis for the specific queries uh, in TPCDS. For example, the first one uh, is for the query 67. Yeah, query 67 very, uh, had a very long latency aggregation. Uh, after checking the following graph of that one, we found that uh, in group, grouping, uh, group, fun group function, uh, a portion of time is spent uh, to compute the normal case. Uh, by checking the stacks, actually it's triggered by the rehash function. After checking the code, we found that uh, actually the rehash function is only for ensuring that the hash index has enough capacity. Uh, we don't need to recalculate the normal case. Uh, so we make a change to remove that part and uh, we see some performance gain for that part. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then the second one is for the uh, is identified for the query CC4. Uh, we found some uh, CPU cache store issues uh, in the join in the query CC4. Uh, basically, the two things. One thing is that we found the, the cache miss caused by the random access to some tag property. And another thing is that we found that actually uh, they do some group uh, calculation, but the group size is too small. Uh, that the calculation cannot uh, overlap the uh, overhead, uh, overhead the, the, uh, after the, the perfection command cannot over, over, overlap the overhead of the uh, tech miss. So we make the change. One is add the perfection command for the tech property and increase the group size to solve that issue. Yeah, yeah the last one I think uh, uh, is for query 72. Yeah, we mentioned that uh, for return is uh, for back the by default, but uh, uh, in our internally we enable it. We found that uh, uh, when we enable it, uh, it actually is lower than the vanilla spark uh, run. So we uh, find the issue actually in the uh, this this join result function. Uh, this is due to there are too many uh, rows with identical case in the build side. And this join result will match this duplicate row to, to the group size rows. And this duplicate rows are linked together by the next row pointer. It's behave like a linked list. So if we need to access all these duplicate rows, we need to go to one row and find the next pointer, and then next row, next pointer. It's not very expensive. So we can just optimize it by showing it a vector, uh, uh, we can see this is, it, it will be super fast after the change. Yeah. Uh, I think to mention that this PR is still under, uh, still in progress and under review. Yeah. yeah. We are actually uh, working on making the good kind of values more reliable since robust and performant. Yeah, like the 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 thing that we mentioned, that we work on to enable more utils for the return and the value, and we work on the enable uh, to improve the performance of the scan of the actual aggregation. Yeah, we are also actively contributing to the return and the value. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. That's all.